Right. Oh, this is the rap ballad of Ethan Ethan Frome for English Three. Here it goes. You gotta get psyched up for these things. Yeah. Yeah. This is the story of a man named From. Starkfield was the place he called home. A dreary little town where the sun barely shone, and the life that he lived was pretty monotone. He lived with the woman who they called his wife, and she did her best to ruin his life. She sat and she brooded and she sighed and she snored like a bump on a log. She made her husband bored. She was ugly, she was thin, she was pale, she was black, she was always sick, and she always wore black. To call his life lame would be an understatement But poor Ethan Frome had to live with this arrangement For you see, he was trapped in this sad little town He had to care for his parents when they were six feet underground He had had big dreams, like of being a mechanic But his wife said, heck no, big city to make me panic As the years ticked by, he began to believe That his happiness was just a thing that could not be When Maddie came to town, Ethan Frome turned around Dean his cousin got him buzzing like a honey bee once he was blind, but now he can see. He waved and shaved and along the wall in his man cave until Zena came around to disrupt his ways. She noticed he changed and made him sit in the shame. He been told a lie, not a very kind guy. She left for the doctor playing a silent game. Maddie and Ethan played in the falling rain, turning the snow to roads covered in ice. The love provided, but Maddie didn't suffice. Awkwardness covered the room like a fresh new spice. Ethan sat in his chair, cold as ice. He witnessed a ghost, or was it just smoke? Maddie saw it too, but then the cat flew. The pickle jar broke, and there goes the smoke. The night went on, and the question grew strong. Ethan asked himself, is this right, or is this wrong? He just keeps growing more delusional, until soon Ethan is wrapped around the conclusion. It's hopeless, Ethan said, in total despair. My whole life is a wreck, and it's just not fair. I want to go west with Maddie, that'd be great, but I can't even afford a ticket for the train. So on the way to the station to pick up the new maid, Ethan decided to take Maddie down the hill in a sleigh. For the first time ever, he felt alive. Even though they had no future, they took their time. Then Maddie had a thought. She said under her breath, not together in life, how about in death? Take me down that hill. One more time, Ethan, please. Right off of the trail into the old elm tree. So down they went, through the snow and the ice. Ethan thought to himself, man, isn't this nice? Goodbye, cruel world. I'm going somewhere better. And with that, they smashed in the solid wood barrier. All over oh, this work was de quite depressing. The story was stale, <laughs> never really progressing. I suppose that's what Edith Wharton wanted. But it's sad that Ethan never got things sorted. Word, J-Rod Griff coming at you live. Yes. <laughs>